We have explored pages so far, which are route-specific UI components. Now it's time into layouts. Layouts are UI components that wrap around your pages, allowing you to share common elements across multiple routes. Think of headers, footers, navigation bars, or any UI element that should remain consistent as users navigate through your app. Creating a layout is straightforward. You just need to default export a React component from an underscore layout.js or underscore layout.tsx file. The underscore prefix is important. It tells ExportOuter that this file isn't a route itself, but rather a wrapper for other routes. The layout component renders a slot component from ExportOuter, which will be populated with your page content. Now this sounds more complicated than it is, so let's look at an example to understand better. Back in VS Code, if we look at our app folder, we can see that we already have an underscore layout.tsx file that was generated when we created our project. This is a very simple layout that uses the stack component from Expo Router. We will learn more about the stack component later in this course, but for this particular topic on layouts, I will replace it with a different component called slot. The slot component is where pages such as the home page, about page, profile page, and product pages are rendered. For our example, we will add a header and a footer to this layout. From React Native, import components view, text, style sheet, and safe area view. For the JSX, we wrap everything in safe area view. Above the slot, we will render the header, my expo app. Below the slot, we will render the footer, copyright code evolution. I will also paste some styles, but the UI is simply a placeholder to understand the concept of layouts, so don't worry too much about it. We have container, header, header text, footer, and footer text, which I will now add to the JSX. Styles.header, style is equal to styles.header text. Similarly, style is equal to styles footer and footer text. We will also add for the safe area view, style is equal to styles.container. If we save this file and check our app, we'll see a red header with the text My Expo app at the top of every screen about profile products, etc., and a blue footer with the text Code Evolution at the bottom. We use safe area view to ensure that the header and footer are not cut off by the device's notch or home indicator. Since we replaced the stack component with slot component, we don't have a link to go back to the home page. So press R to reload the app, click products, select an individual product, and we'll still see the same header and footer. Now the cool thing about layouts is that you can nest them. This means you can have different layouts for different sections of your app, and they can inherit from each other. Let's say you want a special layout just for your product pages. We can do this by adding an underscore layout.tsx file inside the products folder. So create a new file, and we will default export a component that renders the slot component from export router, along with a section that we can assume to be a carousel of discounted products. I'm going to assume you're familiar with writing React Native components by now and paste the code. We have export default function products layout, which has a view with container styles, the slot component from Expo Router, which renders the page from products folder, and a view which we are going to assume is a carousel of discounted products. We also have some styles applied to the corresponding view. When we reload the app by pressing R in the terminal, in the home page, we don't see the discounted products text component from our products layout. When we navigate to the product screen, however, we will see both the header and footer from our root layout and the discounted products text component from our products layout. This nesting of layouts allows us to create complex UI hierarchies while keeping our code organized and maintainable. The layouts work in a similar fashion on the web as well. We have our header, our footer, and when I click on products, we have our discounted products component from products layout. The products layout is nested inside the root layout, and the page corresponding to slash products 
is nested inside the products layout component. That is the order of hierarchy for rendering components in our app. Layouts are particularly useful for authentication flows, onboarding screens, modal screens, and any part of your app that should have a completely different look and feel. If this is clear, let's move on to the next topic where we will learn about groups.